Hey, what's going on folks? It's Creative Duelist here, representing Team FDK, and I've been making decks creative since 2016. Welcome folks, today I'm here with my updated Trap Tricks deck profile. I managed to get like most of the cards, um, but I'll go ahead and talk about my card choices as I pretty much progress with the deck profile. Now before I get started with that, I'd like you guys to check out the links in the description. If you folks would like to support us on a personal level, we have PayPal. That is uh, very optional. All of that goes back into our content. We're also sponsored by Inked Gaming. Make sure you input your um, input our code, which is uh, TeamFDK10, to get you 10% on anything you shall purchase through Inked Gaming. Please take advantage of this, as it will allow you to purchase items at a cheaper cost and at a cheaper rate. And we have a Facebook group, so if, if you folks would like to support that, you're more than welcome to. Links shall be in the description. But yes, folks, let's get right into the deck profile. Let's let's delve right into the traps. <laughs> anyway, so starting off with the monster lineup, I've got Triple, Trap Tricks, uh, what's her name? Uh, J J Jalisi? Jalisi? I think it's Jalisi. Uh, she's the newest um, Trap Tricks monster. She's uh, the latest support. Um, so what she does, uh, she's just like the rest of the Trap Trick monsters. They're all unaffected by the effects of trap cards that have the word hole in. But basically, you contribute her and you can set two whole normal trap cards with different names. One from your deck and one from your graveyard. But they get banished when they leave the field. But you can only use that effect once per turn. Uh, this, her effect is... She's really kind of garbage opening up first, like, you know, early game because you're not going to get traps in the grave immediately because traps are inherently slow. She's good mid game. So if you'd like to cut down the options, you can cut her down to two. But I just like to play a three because she's just, um, again, she's just an extra name in the deck. Now I've got triple trap tricks mantis. Uh, when she's normal summon, she searches any trap tricks monster from your deck. Pretty nice. And also, um, she has this other effect where you can target one set spell and trap you control, bounce it back to hand, and then you can set another spell and trap, which is pretty cool. Um, it's very interesting, that effect is. Then we've got a triple Trap Tricks Mamelio. She's there to search for your, uh, your um, bottomless trap holes, your trap hole cards, basically. She searches for all that good stuff. And when she special summon from the graveyard, um, you get... You get to pop, I think, is, is it, oh, which is just special summon in general, that's amazing. You get to basically target one spell and trap on the field, and you basically get to pop it, which is pretty nice. So you get to pop any floodgates, which is very good, especially against Royal Decree. Then we got Triple Trap Tricks Dianeer. Dianeer is your uh, coach soldier wolf bark, so what she does... When she's normal summon, she special summons a trap trick monster from your graveyard, and that works hand in hand with Mamelio, so she can get her effect to pop something. And she has a secondary effect when, if she's special summoned, you get to target a uh, whole normal trap card in your grave and set it on your field, but it gets banished um, during uh, the end phase of your turn if it's still there, if you didn't use it. But that is also a nice effect nonetheless. All right. For the last of the Trap Trick Monsters, I play one uh, Atrax, or Atrax, depending on how you'd like to go on with the pronunciation. I don't play Nethesis because I don't have it, but it's up to you if you want to play it, because I know you can do more like, goofy stuff with the deck. But Atrax, I like playing one Atrax, I might play her at two, because she enables you to play whole normal trap cards from your hand. Very good in certain like situations, so say if you're, like, you, you're in a tournament, and your opponent knows you're playing trap tricks first get like second game because you got bopped by you nine times out of ten he's always going to be siding in twin twisters he's going to be siding in back row hate so it's always good to like play the uh like the second attracts or the third because then once you get a tracks on the field um your opponent's uh and you normal summon it and then turn your opponent's gonna be like what the hell why is he not set any traps and then bam when he starts playing you just play bottomless trap ball from your hand for free so he, they can't stop that they can't blow up you know they can't blow up your traps if they're not set <laughs> so yeah that's that's my reasoning with atrax and that's why i like atrax and then for the last of monsters i play double ash blossom just to round up the hand traps you can play more it's up to you 
So onto the spells, just a small spell lineup. The deck is very trap orient orientated. Um, so I really just play a small lineup, double desires, one avarice, one regeki, and one monster reborn to round up the spell lineup. All right, this is like the beefy part of the uh, deck. All right, for traps, I've got the double trap trick. I've only got two, but you can play three. It's just there to help you uh, get that specific trap faster, which is pretty nice. Trap trick is very good to play. I play now for the uh, for the hole stuff. Got the double bottomless trap hole. I don't care what no one says. Like I remember somebody tried to dog on me for playing bottomless. Bottomless takes people off guard. People don't realize how good bottomless trap hole is um, in certain situations. And then of course got the double time space. Good against links. Double floodgate. Bad against links, <laughs> can't set them, um, but it's a really good card. And this is the newest, uh, newest uh, family to the for the, to the trap hole lineup. It's called Grave Diggers Trap Hole. This card is so good, especially good against hand traps. So basically, for those who don't know what it does, if your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, or when your opponent's uh, banish monster activates an effect, you can negate the effect, and if you do inflict to uh, 2,000 uh, 2, points of damage to your opponent, which is uh, very strong. Uh, so if they try and drop drop Ash, just go that, just flip flip Grave Grave Digger, burn them for, uh, for 2k, and yeah, they get no negate. Continuing on, I've got the um, one night one one hole. It's okay at one, and then one break off trap hole because it works well with your trap tricks uh sira because say like you have this set already and then you link summon sira just flip break off sira lives because it's a link monster it only destroys all monsters on the field that aren't linked and of course sira is unaffected by trap trap cards completely which is pretty nice so everything gets nuked except for her so she protects herself all right for the rest of the traps got double torrential double compulse this also helps to trigger off your uh, your Sira effect because she gets her effect when you activate a trap. But uh, I'll get onto that in the extra deck. Uh, double back to the front. I took out Call the Haunted because Call the Haunted just gets nagged by you know back row hate. Whereas like if they go Twin Twist on back to the front, back to the front, you are guaranteed that summon, and it, and the, your monster doesn't get nagged. Then we got double Storming Mirror Force, one Mirror Force. I like playing the one mirror force because it does help to get her effect off and no one sees it coming. And then for the rest of the traps, I just play the Solemn Family. Fat trap lineup, but that's going to round up the whole main deck, folks. All right, for the extra deck, of course, I've got my uh, field center. But anyway, for the links, I've got the triple trap tricks Sierra. Sira is like the best link monster in this deck. I love Sira so much. But basically what she does when she's link summoned, um, when she's link summoned, she's unaffected by trap effects completely, which is very strong. Um, you can only use one of the bullet pointed effects once per turn. So the first effect is if a normal trap card is activated. So if your opponent activates one of you do, you get to special summon a trap trick monster from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. And the other effect is if you if your other trap trick monsters effect is activated, you get to set a whole normal trap card directly from the deck to your field, which is very strong. Then for the rest, got one Borolo Dragon, uh, the newest X Y Z monster. Trap tricks, Alumarus. Her effect is really odd. It, I don't see how it helps trap tricks, but anyway, what she does. Um, again, she's unaffected by trap effects while she while she has materials. Um, you can detach two materials and special summon a level four insect or plant monster from your graveyard. And the secondary effect is if your opponent's monster leaves the field because of your card effect and is now in the graveyard or is banished, except during damage step, you can detach the material and you get to bring it on your side of the field, which is pretty nice. So yeah, so we play two of her. One Reflesia, I've really got one. One Reflesia is enough in my opinion. Does the job, plus you can recycle it. Uh, one uh, Exoton Knight. One Baguska. One Castal. 
one Tornado Dragon, one Abyss Dweller, one Gargagar Samurai, and of course the Utopia package to round up the whole main deck, extra deck, and the whole profile. So thank you all for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please don't leave a like. Comment down below. Feedback is always nice to hear. Tell me thoughts on the comment section. Please check out those links. Support your boy and support Team FDK and support everyone around you. BS folks, Creative Duelist, representing Team FDK, signing off. Peace.